it's extremely frustrating, you know, knowing that we came out with such energy and high tempo, you know, going 10-0 in the first half. But, you know, in the second quarter, we kind of struggled, you know, sustaining drives. And uh, honestly, I feel like the offense came out really flat in the second half. You know, I take full responsibility for that. You know, and I need to do a better job with just, you know, meeting those guys on I felt and ready to play. But, you know, it's just really, um, really flat in the second half. We really couldn't stand drives. And uh, it's definitely hard for the defense, you know, when they're, uh, you know, we go three and out and put them back on the field. You know, as an offense, it's our job to keep defense off the field. Is there anything they did different schematically to kind of hamper what you guys are trying to do? Uh, honestly, you know, I don't think anything different. You know, they're type of, of a vanilla defense where, you know, they stay true to what they do and they're good at what they do. And, um, you know, it's just us shooting, us, shooting ourselves in the foot, you know, not, uh, you know, making plays when we need to, you know, not me not doing what I can to, uh, you know, help the offense out. So it's definitely frustrating, you know, coming with, you know, like, like I said, that we started so fast, you know, you know, our offense is really firing, but it's just hard, you know, to come out flat and expect to win a game. Simon, you guys played well against the Bell offense in the first half. What changed the second half that they were able to execute drives on? Um, shoot, I, I want to piggyback on what Kai just said. You know, I, I felt like we came out a little flat in the second half, uh, kind of grinded us up a little bit on, uh, you know, it's the inside run, and then, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, we had to come out. We should have come out just a little bit more fire and stuff, but, you know, I feel like we just got to improve and stuff and get ready for next week. What do you think contributed to coming out flat in the second half? Um, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, they um, they just ran the rock on us, and, uh, you know, we, you know we, were, we were getting hit in the mouth, so we had to, um, well, I feel like we didn't, uh, you know, punch back. So I feel like we, um, that's just something we got to do and improve uh, as the season, go on. the season goes on. We just got to keep punching back. Seems, seems like the baddest ability to run the ball in the second, second half was really problematic. How can you give uh, offense much time to do as well? Oh, yeah. You know, we, we know uh, coming into this uh, game that, uh, you know, Cody and uh, you know, Coach Rolovich over there they did a good job of just. Uh, being good time uh, game managers, and that's kind of what uh, you know Cody does. You know they run really good offense, and you know they kind of ground and pound sometimes. So you know they, they do a good job of just you know keeping the clock running and uh, you know keeping the offense on the on the field. So, but like I said before, you know it's uh, the offense can't go through now. You know we need to sustain drives and just keep moving moving on the field and keeping our defense off the off the field. You know they, they did a great job tonight. You know they fought, they never gave up, and that's something that they've been doing all year. So I'm definitely proud of what the defense played. With Utah State coming here next week, what was the message in the locker room? Uh, you, your guys up? you know, Coach said we need to uh, just just uh, learn from what we what we did tonight, and we need to just focus on Utah State because we still are uh, bowl eligible. You know, we just need to win the rest of our games. You know, and that's definitely something positive. You know, we can go seven to six and get to a bowl game, and uh, that's not something that's you know crazy or out of this world for us. Because we know we're a good team. You know, as you've seen as in Wyoming, when uh, you know each. Uh, each part of our you know, team is playing well, you know, offense, defense, special team, you know, we as a, playing as a collective unit, you know, we do really well. So we need to just get back to that, you know, get back to the fundamentals and, uh, you know, come Monday, it's, uh, it's back to work, you know, you got to put your heart out on and just keep continuing working hard. Simon, um, how much did uh, the adjustment of the quarterback play and the ball more in the second half throw you guys off as a defense? I mean, um, I feel, uh, this week we were kind of, you know, expecting you know, him to run the ball a lot. Uh, but I feel like he did a, a pretty good job of just mixing it up, uh, you know, handing it off, you know, keeping it, you know, um, just a little, keep us a little off balance and stuff. But, I mean, it's something we did, I mean, we worked on in practice this week. So, you know, it's just guys uh, trying to do our, our assignments and stuff. Yeah. Tonight was homecoming, also military appreciation night. On, on big games like this, is it, is there added pressure to come out and play your field? Is there a different feeling when you play with um, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of pressure, you know, knowing that people are expecting us to win. You know, it, it is being homecoming. You know, that's something that's a game we're supposed to win. But honestly, no matter what game we come into, home or away, we we come in mentality that we, we got to win. You know, and uh, that's something that we knew coming into this game that it was a must win for us, and that's that was something that, that didn't happen. So we need to just get back to the drawing board. You know, get back to work, and uh, you know, focus on Utah State.